So I'm just going to have a quick chat with Jenny and find out what went well and what didn't go well. I mean, everything went well in my book. Uh, we've just wrapped up and we've got all of the pieces off the wall at House Vanetta, apart from the Inessa portrait and the temporary clock piece, which is done by Silvano Maxia. And uh, yeah, we're nearly finished. We're nearly done. So we're going to just have a quick chat with Jenny now and uh, talk about the show and what she thought about it. Yeah, so Jenny, what do you uh, think of the show and the fact that we've now finished? How do you feel? Um, whenever I finish a show, there's always sadness, but there's like slight relief as well because then everybody can breathe because I think everybody's worked so hard on this project. Not just making the effort to come to the house multiple times and get inspired and get involved, but also the process of making the work and then it was hanging it, it was a whole another level of energy because people had to really think about it because we weren't allowed to drill into the walls or use traditional hanging methods so that was a whole another load of effort that people had to make um would you do a project like this again well actually assemble who are custodians of the the house have actually suggested that um i bring back the towel collective again um, but in maybe in a year's time or a couple of years time when they've taken on new members who work in different mediums so I think I would because I'd know what I was uh, up against and I'd know be more prepared to guide people through it because this was very much a learning curve for me as a curator as well as it was for everybody else who hadn't done alternative hangs before but yeah um, and do you think that the show was a, su- a success yeah, definitely. The I mean, the the private view was absolutely packed. You know, we had so many amazing people come, uh, curators, um, other artists, people who even they travel from a long distance. We had an artist come from South End just to see it. Um, you know, we had some people come from uh, Manchester, uh, some people come from Sheffield. Um, you know, people travelled to come and see the show because it was so interesting and uh, people came from outside of London so that was amazing and also some of the comments and the feedback that we've had from uh, artists that have been in the game a long time or curators about the standard of some of the work in here has just been really phenomenal and the feedback even on the curation which was very much collaborative, like I led on it, but it was also a collaborative because it wasn't a white wall gallery. There was things that I had to work out with the artists as well. So the fact that people have fed back that the curation was great and that the rooms worked and so the outside spaces looked right and the work was all in the right place was fantastic. So yeah, and I also think it's great that we've had people in who knew Anetta who said that she would have really loved this and it's a shame she couldn't have seen it so well I really appreciate all of your hard work for the collective and uh, we've really had a successful exhibition so I'd like to thank you very much oh and thank you for your support and all the artists from town thank you hi my name's Adam Lucy and I'm the founder of Tau Collective and an artist Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for taking part in the House of Anetta exhibition Thank you to House of Anetta for having us and allowing us access to the archive and the house. And uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed this wonderful exhibition um, and experience and got to know more about the house and Anetta herself. If you'd like to know more, we have a website, a TAL website that you can access. And also the House of Anetta website will be available at the end of the video as well. So that's a big thanks to everybody, especially Jenny Nash for curating the show. Um, And thank you for everybody for coming and also for watching this video.